right, all right, guys. This is the first ever No Before You Go audio broadcast on YouTube. Basically a podcast only on YouTube, though. And if you've read my website, www.texasflycaster.com, over the years, you'll know that I've had many, many titles of No Before You Go based on going places, DIYing your trip, and knowing a few things so that you won't just get shut out. Um, This harkens back to my days as a journalism student at the University of North Texas and I had a professor, this is back when professors were mean and they made you learn stuff, and he used to say, I buy you books and I buy you books and what do you do? And the answer is, all we do is eat the cover, sir. So what I try to do here is give you some knowledge that will uh, sink in and get you to places you want to go Um, Instead of writing, I'm really branching out, trying to do podcast-ish type audio with the photos provided by, in this case, Danny Scarborough. And he's going to tell us about a trip coming up tomorrow. I'm going out with Danny on the Paluxy River. It's about two hours from North Texas where I live. So sit back, let's talk to Danny and see uh, how things turn out. We'll do a follow-up, because I always do. And uh, Danny Scarborough, www.dfwflyfishing.com. Check Danny out. He is very stinky in a fish way. I got Danny Scarborough on the phone, and we're going to get a preview of what's going on tomorrow. And Danny was ambushed by me on this phone call. Um <laughs> Paluxy. I've always heard there's no fish in the Paluxy, man. Have you heard that? Yeah, definitely no fish. You don't want to go there. Don't ever go. <laughs> I started hearing that. I started hearing that about oh god, twelve years ago, and uh, it was from a, a guy that worked at uh, at a fly fishing store, and uh, he will go unnamed unless he pays me off to put his name in here. But. <laughs> um, he has a big beard. Anyway, um, so are we going to float on in the, um, on your raft? Are we going to take kayaks or what? What's the deal? Yeah, no, I think we'll take the raft out. Uh, it's not a it's not a float I actually do a lot. Uh, yeah, but uh, it's one I've been wanting to kind of play around and take the raft out on. And there's other things I'd rather do, honestly. But your uh, your time stipulation. <laughs> well, I, I want wait a minute but, now. Uh, wait, I, but, I, I'll no. give you all the time you need, man. No, I just mean like if you want to do the Brazos split, we need to be there. Oh, three days. The oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I have some day floats and stuff we can do. It's just a little different. Uh, you know, bigger water. Wind needs to be, you know, not terrible. I mean, I'll yeah. take an ass kick in any day of the week to catch fish. Yeah. Doesn't matter, but we're gonna just go out there and play around and be cool to shoot some bass eats or get right. some carp or, or freshwater drum eats because my deal there is bass fish early top water fish maybe a little streamer and as soon as the sun you know 9 30 10 o'clock hits the right angle and we're in the right runs which are most of the runs there you can start sight fishing the freshwater drum of the common carp or any of that other stuff you know? okay okay uh, very cool so yeah i'm not saying no to the plexi i love the plexi it's got uh tons of spotted bass and large enough bass and carp and even river carp suckers and different things. Mm-hmm. Well, <clears throat> well now how many times, have you, I mean, I know you're fairly new to North Texas. I've never been there, you know, <laughs> I've been crazy. there and looked at it, but I've never, yeah. never been off in it because it's always been like a drought or whatever going on or yeah. something that's always wrong. I don't know. It fishes pretty good at low flows. Even I fished yeah. it at 11 CFS and then I fished it at a hundred CFS and you know, come to think of it, I have I have been on foot in there at low low CFS. It's like a hard bottom all the way. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah there's a lot of limestone. And if you go down to that lower section stuff too, uh, you mean you got the dinosaur footprints in the limestone. So it's all that that limestone bottom. Well, that, that's way cool. Now, um, I was talking to another uh, source earlier today, and he said that because <laughs> of because of that flow, that there's a probability that stripers have pushed their way up too. To that, yeah. low, to that low section. Yeah, I was going to say, we'd have to do it below the, the weir there. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, they're definitely there. I think everything on the Brazos right now, 
has a very good chance of tearing up striper right so, right like it's been blown out for a month you know and yeah i've no been fishing it no nope. yeah i put out the word to my <laughs> my little private subscribers who subscribe to uh to alerts Def- i do those definitely time <laughs> yeah well you know the thing is is we don't know how long this is gonna last i mean they're talking mm-hmm. rain next week again so man yeah. it just sucks it's been the worst year up here that i Oh, there's been worse years, but uh, uh, this one kind of stands out. It's just strange. <laughs> Everybody's saying strange, you know? So, yeah, I mean, for me, it's all, I don't know. It seems like y'all get, I mean, I've only been here three years in this part of Texas. Y'all get rain every spring. This one was maybe a little later than the last two. Yep. Uh, but, yeah, it just it kind of concentrates in different places and blows up different things. Sometimes yeah. these other lakes are 11 feet high and, and these other rivers are perfect yeah but yeah this time it kind of crashed everything (laughs) yeah it really did um but everything is turning on Uh, obviously a few of the lakes are still three feet four feet high but a lot of them are are dropping as we speak and should be a pool soon depending on what how much of that rain is you know yeah you know i looked at ray roberts uh the dam yesterday and they got it open so that's you know it's not wide open or anything but at least they're letting some go man I mean, yeah, exactly. the clarity up there is like none I've ever seen right now. Though, yeah. so for some reason, I don't know if the rain dropped uh, day before yesterday morning straight onto the lake or what. But there's a like a you can see color lines like I've never seen before on that lake. So <laughs> it's really strange. But um, the water coming out of the dam, it's clear. I mean, yeah. down down there in the rip rap below the dam, you can see five feet deep. It's, <laughs> it's the craziest thing I've ever seen. But you know, you can also see there's no fish there. So the only people fishing yeah, there no are fish there. none. I haven't, been, I haven't been tearing up carp every other day there. <laughs> <laughs> Ray Rock, not at the dam. Not at the dam, yeah. but on that lake. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 sure. But, I'm, you know, we used to slaughter. They're eating, uh, they're eating cottonwood seeds right now like crazy. Yeah, I saw that stuff blowing around the other day. I was like, okay, yeah. switch gears. It's, a, it's it's all about switching gears right now, you know, really. You just got to pay attention, yeah. Yeah. And that's fishing, though. So what rods do I need tomorrow? I don't have many middleweight rods anymore. Like, no, yeah, I mean I can bring stuff to you. Uh, you know that river. It's, it's the bass are mostly you know three pounds and smaller. There's mm-hmm. maybe some bigger ones in there, uh, and they're usually really smart and reject everything you throw at them. Mm-hmm. But uh, a lot of like two pound smaller stuff and the mm-hmm. spotted bass aren't very big. So I think like a two to a five weight is perfectly fine. Jeez, uh, man, I'm so short on I, those rods. I have tons of those things I can bring. Yeah. All of them. I can even bring a little sink tip and throw around a game changer. Mm-hmm. They'll wreck game changers out there. It's kind of fun in that small water. It's just too irresistible for them, I guess. Yeah, and then you're like, you know, you throw it out and you start taking it fast, so it always spills in that current and everything, too, like they just slam the shit out of it. So yeah. it's kind of fun, especially if the, the top water bites slow or you've been tearing them up and you want to change the, yeah. what you're doing. <laughs> so. Do so you're using what a floral leader or what do you got for leader? Uh, yeah, I don't ever think it. Uh, depends if I'm gonna throw like a sink tip. I'm gonna go pretty short, like a four foot yeah. uh, leader that I just taper out right. to twelve or sixteen pounds. Bass right. aren't leader shy. Right. Uh, I've fished very little floro, even though you know yeah. it has different properties. Mm-hmm. But. <laughs> i'm just trying to get into details just in case somebody actually yeah. listened to this <laughs> yeah no 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 i get it yeah, uh, yeah. i'm just like weird about leaders i don't yeah. I, i'll use a nine foot one and, and build on it and work it down or if uh, a lot of times i'm fishing short leaders because i'm dapping carp uh 10 feet from me or both in five feet from the boat or whatever so i've kind of gotten to where i'm not using my nine foot leader as often now right. on the river right. on the river floats we are doing seven and nine foot leaders and especially sight fishing carp on the on the stuff like that when they're on the flats but mm-hmm. we're just not there in most of the places depends where people want to go fish of course right right so you so i got you for thursday what's what are you doing on friday uh probably heading to houston and uh i got a couple things to do client wise in houston taking guys fishing but, right, uh, cool friday i'm off but i'm probably gonna go scout a few things i know what i'm doing i'm pretty sure but yeah every now and again you run into yeah cool situations <laughs> everything's been blown out and they've been getting little random bumps of rain so there's some creeks up there that i don't get to fish that often uh this time of year that are that are on so i think we're going to do that well, target cool. bath and, and maybe even have some carp up shallow mm-hmm. they were there last time very cool very cool so uh, you know i'd like to make our phone calls a regular thing but you know i'm definitely i want you to promote yourself tell me where people can find you uh yeah houstonflyfishing.com that is my website i probably haven't updated 
enough stuff on there, but I'll do that when I go off the phone, I guess. And then, uh, <laughs> what about, what about, um, your, I see you, you're extremely active on Instagram. What's your Instagram account? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Houston fly fishing. And then, uh, and I have like little micro ones and stuff like that. Uh, right. but Houston fly fishing is a good one to follow. And then I do one that's more fly tying oriented. That's like fly in hand mm-hmm. underscore Texas or whatever. Okay. And you can see all the flies on time. Cool. Cool. Well, what time do I need to be there? uh really what time do you want to start uh i figured the water will be cool we've had kind of some cool mornings we can kind of do what you want you were saying eight o'clock that's why i figured we were oh no 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 i can that. i can be there anytime man i mean oh, I, what's up? eight o'clock I good yeah i mean we can start at seven we can start at eight we can start at six i don't care oh my god <laughs> <laughs> two hours away man yeah i know i am too I'm okay like, all right all right let's just aim for it let's just shoot for eight, let's just yeah. shoot for eight okay yeah, that's fine. All Again, right. I have no issue. Uh, we may have to do a little dragging in some right. spots uh, okay. where I'm thinking about floating. I'm not. We may not because it's 100 CFS. But. Yeah. Oh, it's down. It's at 100 now. Okay. All right. Cool. It's around it, I think. All right. Uh, I haven't looked at it in a little bit. All right. All right. Well, let me uh, give me one more bit of information if people want to get a hold of me, and that's your phone number. I don't think it's going to hurt. Yeah, uh, 832-257-9578. But uh, if I don't answer, shoot me a text because I probably thought you were some stranger some, yeah. calling for no reason. I hate strangers, <laughs> man. You know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, I know exactly. 99% I had one of those stupid were stupid robot calls a while ago. Yeah, yeah. Oh. All right, Danny. We'll see you in the morning, brother. Yeah, definitely. And, and uh, we'll just I'll triangulate. When, when we get close, we'll just triangulate about where we're going to yeah. be. Yeah, we'll just have to like shuttle our vehicles and, and do all that. So what's okay? So like, just for everybody else's information, what's the main town we're gonna? What town are we meeting at? What is, you know? uh, I guess we're just like gonna be by Glen Rose. Glen Rose, town, yep. right? Yep, that makes yeah. sense. Yep. Yeah. Now we're gonna be a little bit away from there, but uh, yeah. All right, Danny. <laughs> we'll follow I up. I just don't want to say the access. <laughs> we'll, we'll follow up with some video, hopefully, and things will turn out good tomorrow, man. Yeah, we're going to get some bass-eating blue boogle bugs. All right, sounds good, bro. All on it now. All right, brother. <laughs> All right, we'll talk to you later. All right, later, dude. This l- first Know Before You Go podcast, YouTube video, whatever you want to call it, I hope you enjoyed it. It's not about watching. It's about listening and finding out what uh, somebody else knows. And I really, really like to hear from you guys. If you want to be interviewed, I've got my audio rocking and rolling now. And we can do that anytime you want, virtually. And uh, it is virtual, by the way. Thanks for listening and looking at the images sent in by Danny Scarborough. Make sure you give Danny a call, text, email, follow him on Instagram. Danny Scarborough, great guy. And uh, I hope that uh, this was very informational for you. And now you know. Let's go.